Holly was born with a syndrome called DeGeorge syndrome. Holly, for the first six months of her life, spent almost every other day in hospital. She had heart issues and she had um, breathing issues when she was young, so she's had to have a tracheostomy which helps her breathe and allows us to ventilate her overnight and during the day. I get like, um, like my face when I walk for places. It makes for a different type of family dynamic. If you speak to any family that has a child with a life-limiting condition, they will tell you that the siblings actually find life more difficult because the parents are having to spend a lot of time with, with the child that's ill. They don't know if she's going to be around for the rest of their life. And also the pressures that that brings. You know, parents, we have to consider that we're not going to be around forever. Who's going to look after Holly when we're gone? And they take that burden upon themselves. I think it's amazing that people are donating for a cause which can help different kinds of people. And it's not just the person who's like affected, it's everyone else who's around them. Hospices aren't unhappy places, they're full of joy and laughter and they're a place where families go to be families. We go and make memories there, memories that we can't sometimes make at home because we're having to be the nurse or we're having to do some you know, unpleasant medical things. Whereas at the hospice, we can hand that over to a nurse and we can just be mum and dad. They paint their nails, they have makeup sessions, they have pamper evenings. And fantastically for Holly, the f she will be able to have a sleepover with her friends. She just wants to have that social interaction with her mates. It's a place where anything is possible and the magic happens and that's what the hospice is all about. If I knew what I know now back 13 years ago, I probably would have said, oh gosh, how will we ever cope? But you just have to cope, you have to get through it. People that, that donate to the Wooden Spoon need to understand that money will help families like mine.